हरे कृष्ण प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस इज नॉट कंटेंटलेस बट कंटेमिनेशनलेस प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस इज अ टर्म ऑफन यूज इन स्पिरिचुअल सर्कल्स स्पिरिचुअलिस्ट नो दैट इफ दे आर टू अटेन परफेक्शन दे नीड टू मेक देर कॉन्शियसनेस प्योर that is common to that understanding is common to all spiritualists spiritualists but what pure consciousness means that often has varying interpretations now some spiritualists especially those of an impersonalist orientation believe that pure consciousness means consciousness that is has no content contentless consciousness now uh, to understand what contentless consciousness means let's analyze the contents of any conscious experience there is the in any whenever any conscious perception takes place for example say you are looking at this camera so at that time you are the subject of consciousness you are the perceiver and then the camera screen on which you are seeing a visual image uh, that is the object of perception that is the perceived and linking the subject and the object the perceiver and the perceived is the stream of consciousness so these three are the components of any conscious experience now contentless consciousness means that there is no content to the consciousness because there is no subject and no object there is just the stream of consciousness and uh, the impersonalists believe that all conceptions of personality and individuality are uh, arise out of illusion so the concept that there is a perceiver and there is a perceived both are illusions and both when that those conceptions are removed then that person becomes Uh, then the then one has come to pure consciousness so pure consciousness means just consciousness without any content because there is no one to perceive and nothing to perceive so there is no content of consciousness now such contentless consciousness if that is pure consciousness then actually uh, there is that is a pure illusion because there is no consciousness only practically speaking because what is the meaning of consciousness without someone to be conscious and something to be conscious of now consciousness essentially requires the subject and an object so the idea of a contentless consciousness is illogical now sometimes impersonalists try to conceal this illogicality under the cloak of ineffable ineffability oh they say this is such a complex concept that it can't be put in words but actually the concept of pure consciousness is put in words and it is the opposite it is quite different from in fact opposed to the impersonal idea of contentless consciousness so the bhagavad gita right in its beginning declares the eternality of the individuality of all living beings when it states in 2.12 natve vaham jatu nasam natvam ne me janadipa चैव न भविष्याम सर्वे वयवत परम सो कृष्ण से नम जातु नासम दैट इधर आय नॉर ऑल दीज लिविंग बी नम ने इमे जनाधिप नॉर ऑल दीज किंग्स सो इधर आय नॉर यू नॉर ऑन यूर ऑल दीज लिविंग बींग्स दे वॉज नेवर अ टाइम दे डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट नॉर ऑल द फ्यूचर देर बी अ टाइम वेन दे डोंट एग्जिस्ट दे विल ऑल एग्जिस्ट इटर्नली एंड in that sense uh, all individuals are eternal both the supreme lord and other living beings also those who are devotees and the various kings who may not be devotees also everyone is eternal and this eternality of the individuality is reasserted reiterated at the end of the gita where arjuna after becoming enlightened declares karishye vachanam tava in 18.73 says i will do your will what he means is that i now what he is saying is not that he is becoming one with krishna in intent not one in being 
that means his existence is still separate but he's agreeing to do krishna's will and this oneness in intent is pure consciousness which it is pure because it is free from the contamination of uh, of artificial desire for independence no when we love krishna we naturally want to express that love by doing his will and the desire to do anything other than the will of krishna the desire to do anything other than lovingly serve krishna that is the contamination and that contamination is the cause of bondage and misery and when we are free from that contamination then we still exist as individuals and we desire to love and serve krishna and pure con- our pure consciousness doesn't desire or doesn't perceive or desire anything other than krishna rather perceives and sees perceives and desires to serve krishna constantly and therein rejoice eternally thank you hare krishna